If you ever needed to send a large file to a colleague or a client, there are many different ways you can do that. One is to use an FTP client, such as FileZilla, or you can use one of the many uh, free file storage websites available. But now there's a, a new and more elegant way to move large files, and it's called Dropbox. Right now it's still in beta, but it's an open beta, so you can open an account with it. Now, one thing you'll notice when you go to the Dropbox main page at getdropbox.com is that there's nothing on the main page uh, indicating a way to open a new account with them. There are fields where you can sign into an existing account. Dropbox does it a little differently. But the first thing you need to do with them is to download the application for your computer. Uh, as part of the installation process, you'll get a chance to open a new account. After you've installed Dropbox on your computer and set up your account, you'll have a Dropbox icon. Let's click on that and open the Dropbox. You'll see that the brand new Dropbox comes equipped with two folders already, Photos and Public. You can add more fo folders of your own, arrange it however you want to, but the Public folder has a very handy attribute. If you place a file in the Public folder, you can then send that file to anyone by giving them a simple download link. As you see, the checkbox changed to an uploading icon on the public folder. That tells you that Dropbox is automatically uploading your file to their file server. When the upload icon on your public folder once again becomes a checkmark, you know that your file has been completely uploaded to the Dropbox servers. Now, if you want to send that file to a colleague or a client, the process is very simple. First, open your public folder locate the file that you've already uploaded, then right-click or